Alright, so in this video we're going to be going over tips for leveling for Lineage 2 Revolution. Uh, at the time of filming this, level cap is 120, the server's about to get the patch for 180, so I figure now is a good time to go over basically what I will be doing on a daily basis to get to 180 as quickly as possible. So like I mentioned, this is my own personal routine of what I'll be doing uh, on a daily basis to try and get to 180, um, and it starts with daily quest. So daily quest, uh, you can do 12 of these every single day and ideally you want to focus on doing the R quest. You're able to refresh it three times for free each day. And so typically what I will do is I'll do whatever R, S or A quest are available. And then when a C or a B show up, typically I won't do them and I'll wait. And then when they you know, and then eventually I'll fill this back up with B's and C's. I'll refresh it so I can do all three because if I was to do a refresh right now, it's only going to do whatever quest is not active. Now, in this case, I am doing a B. I, you know, I have mastery levels. That's the only thing I'm leveling, so it doesn't really matter to me that much. So I'm not really going to bother with it. But ideally, what you want to focus on is S and R primarily to get the most out of it. Next, after starting my first three daily quests, uh, I actually go to dungeons and I do the extraction pit. Uh, the extraction pit is what I do next specifically because you get a lot of experience while actually extracting this stuff especially because you can pop these potions these experience potions and these are a but if you have s ones I definitely recommend doing it and you get a hundred percent additional experience and as you can see here after we extract one of these it's quite a bit of experience and so the reason I do this first during the day see so look at that we got you know six thousand roughly seven thousand really. Um, I do this first during the days because after I finish doing all 20 of these I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna start doing the actual field quests like my main story missions uh, or my weekly quest and I'm gonna be gaining more experience because I've already used this potion so like I had mentioned when I finish extracting all of that uh, I come back out and I'll start with main story quest if I have any uh, which obviously currently I, I don't but with the new patch coming out, I will have some main story quests to do. If I've done all those, then I will start doing my weekly quest, which I'll get experience for completing, but I'll get additional experience because I've used that potion. And if I do not have any weekly quests left to do, then I will do scroll quest. Uh, side, side quest, you know, A grade scrolls, level 105 is currently the max, but when the new patch comes out, they'll have higher level ones and you can do five per day. So ideally you wanna do five of the highest ones you have and then you'll want to use red gems to uh, re redo this. It costs 50 for the first one, so you can do another 5 and then 100. So 150 red gems a day and you can do 15 of these quest scrolls, which gives a decent amount of Adena and pretty good experience. If you don't have any, you can farm for them typically. Uh, if you don't want to do that, then you can also buy them from the shop. It costs red gems to get S and about 30,000 for the A's. I think you get about 20,000 Adina for finishing them. So you're really investing about 10,000 if you're, if you're going to do it. So when I am done with the main story, the side quest, the sub quest, the weekly, you know, all that kind of stuff, I'm still working on the dailies. The next thing I typically will do, uh, TOI. If you have floors that you have not cleared in TOI, this is a great place to go to get experience. But if you've already done that, then next on the list is Trials of Experience. You can do this twice per day for free. If you have the red gems and you don't mind spending them, you can recharge it once or twice, I believe, and you know continue to get more experience through that. The other thing after that is to go into Elite Dungeons and uh, you know whichever one you can clear without dying. Uh, and make sure you use your hot time 30 minutes of hot time for additional experience and drop rate what i recommend is either going in with a group of people already or going in at a good time where you know you can find a party right as you get in because you want to find a party of five people as quickly as possible so you can really maximize your experience the other thing i would say is i don't recommend going afk and overnighting in dungeons the problem is you could die in the middle of the night and your hot time could come on and, and be wasted completely or you could just be in a party with yourself uh, because of the people logged and so then you waste your hot time with just you and you don't really get to take full advantage of it. So I'd recommend not overnight dungeoning if you can help it. So after I've finished with the hot time, TOI, experience trials, the next thing to keep in mind, uh, which is something you can do earlier on, you want to try and find yourself a decent clan that has upgraded their clan shop. By this point in the game, it, it shouldn't be that difficult to find a clan that has, you know, a, a fully upgraded basic item shop here. 
and you want to buy the greater experience there's only one of these daily you can get and then you want to buy these which is uh you can get 10 of these daily so you want to be able to get both of these so save up your coins don't waste them on a lot of other stuff you know go farm pobs and redstone and all that stuff and save these up so that you can daily get these experience boosts it'll really help you out the other thing from a clan standpoint is try and find yourself a clan that is active and has active allies and they're doing fireplaces you definitely want to be able to take advantage of fireplaces because you can get so much experience now if your ally is doing it you're not going to get the full experience bonus that you would otherwise get for the amount of people that show up but you're still gonna get a lot of experience, so it's still worth going. So support your allies, uh, and when you're with your clan, uh, you know, try and be there, because you'll get a lot of experience, and it's worthwhile, even if you can't be there actively, you know, go AFK in the fireplace, in your clan hall, and then you'll still get the experience. So it's great, you definitely wanna try and be with a clan and ally group that can do two or three of these every single week. And the last tip I have is just overnight farming in the field. Uh, with monsters that are about f within five levels or so. Uh, my understanding is within five levels that's going to yield better drops for you as far as scrolls uh, for enchants and things of that nature. So, you know, keep try and keep it within five levels above, below, some something like that. And occasionally you will find that there's hot time field monster experience buffs, which I haven't seen in probably like two months in this game so far but I assume they're gonna bring it back so if you do see hot time in the field then definitely take advantage of it and be out there but overnighting in the field is a good way just to gain experience at all times and you know you may get some scrolls to help try and do some enchants and, and buff up your CP a little bit in the process so those are the tips that I have and pretty much the way that I'll be doing it over the next couple weeks as I race to 180 keep in mind that you know some of the ways if you're willing to spend red gems you're able to boost a little bit more you're able to uh, restart some of the trials and, and level up a little bit quicker so keep that in mind but that's pretty much the gist of it if i forgot anything or you have any questions you know feel free to leave a comment below uh, if you like this video leave a like if you didn't like it dislike it and feel free to subscribe to keep up with my other content i'm sure i may have some more lineage 2 stuff in the future and i will catch you guys in the next video